Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can reset your Apple Magic Keyboard. Now there are newer model and the older model, so depending on which model you have. So I will try to explain to you with the older model and show you uh, with a newer model right here. This is the one I've got is a newer uh, model of the Apple Magic Keyboard. So if you've got the newer one to uh, reset the keyboard, you can try to switch it off. So switch off the keyboard and then just try to switch it back on and see if that can fix the problem if not on your computer you can go to uh, bluetooth now if you can't connect to your computer because your computer is locked and you need to put in the password to lock into your computer then you will need to use another keyboard uh, so you just need to get this uh, keyboard for temporary use and you can borrow it from your friend or you know your neighbors or if you've got one spare one uh, somewhere or you can go to the shops and buy a really cheap one uh, just so you can use it uh, temporarily so you want to uh, go into the bluetooth settings and then click on open bluetooth preferences and to reset the connections you want to uh, click on the uh, the close or the, the delete button and then we're going to remove so we have now removed uh, the keyboard connections so that's effectively we're setting the connections and then now we're going to click on pair and so now you can see it shows the keyboard is not connected so I can use the keyboard you can see if I press on the up and down you can also check on the cap lock key to see if it's turned on or not now you can also what you can do is like turn off turn bluetooth off and that will basically disconnect all the key or the bluetooth devices and then just uh, turn it back on again that's just to make sure that you know if there's any bug that will basically close uh, the connections and then try to reconnect another thing you can also do is restart your computer so click on the apple button and then just restart your computer and see if that helps uh, with the keyboard connection issue okay so that is with the new keyboard now another thing that you might want to check if you have a problem with your keyboard is make sure that it is uh, fully charged. Now you can see here if I click on Bluetooth and then click on my keyboard, it shows the battery level right here. So make sure that your battery level is high. If it's not, try to plug it in and charge up your keyboard. Uh, the next uh, inf uh, instruction will be for your older model. So if you have an older model, then you can try the following steps. Okay, so if you have an older model, make sure that you press onto the power button on the side. So press and hold onto the power button on the side for three seconds. So press until the power is uh, switched off. Once it is switched off, go to your computer and click on the Bluetooth on the menu bar at the top. And then click on open Bluetooth preferences. Now once this Bluetooth preferences open, then you proceed to press and hold to the power button on your keyboard so press and hold and you will need to hold until the process is complete so don't just press and let go press and hold onto the power button so say i'm going to press onto the power button right here but first i'm just going to disconnect it from this uh, bluetooth so again i'm going to go in here and i'm going to unpair this keyboard So now it is unpaired, so when that happens, you want to press and hold to the power button. So you just simply press and hold, so you continue to hold. Don't let go, the trick is not to let go of the button, press and hold. And then find the keyboard, your Bluetooth keyboard should be able to detect that uh, a Bluetooth keyboard is available. And then click on the pair button on the keyboard. And then there should be some code prompted to connect and once it is connected then you let go of the button so that is for the older model I don't have the keyboard right here to show it to you but that is what you would need to do you need to press onto the power button and then you attempt to connect once it is connected you can let go of the button on your keyboard and so that's it so you can give that a try and see how you go now if you are bring over now if you are bring your keyboard over from another computer it may be paired to another computer so make sure that you first uh, unpair the keyboard 
from other devices before you try to pair with the one that you're currently working with. So if it's already paired with another device, then it cannot be paired again. So make sure that uh, that is something you may want to be aware of, so just in case you have issue connecting uh, with another computer. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.